Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to explore four powerful CSS functions, mn, max, clamp, and calc. These functions allow you to write smarter, more flexible, and responsive CSS, often without needing extra media queries. You can use them for properties like font size, width, height, and more to create layouts that adapt easily to any screen sizes. Let's dive in. Let's understand the CSS min function. Min means minimum value. It picks the smallest value from the ones you provide. For example, if you set width, min 50%, 500 pixels, the browser will compare both values and apply the smaller one. Here, 50% refers half of the parent element's width or the browser's width. So if the viewport is 900 pixels wide, 50% equals 450 pixels. Now, the browser compares 450 pixels and 500 pixels and picks the smaller one. That means the element's width will be 450 pixels. You can also use min function with properties like margin, padding, font size, and even box shadow. Let's understand the CSS max function. It works opposite to min. While min picks the smallest value, max picks the largest one. For example, if you write width, max 50%, 500 pixels. Here, the browser compares both values and applies the larger one. Let's break it down. 50% means half of the browser's width. If the viewport is 900 pixels wide, then 50% equals 450 pixels. Now, the browser compares 450 pixels and 500 pixels and chooses the larger value, so the element's width will be 500 pixels. In short, min gives you the smaller value, max gives you the larger value. Here, I've set the card's width to 90%. As we resize the screen, the card adjusts shrinking and growing based on the viewport width. But on larger screens, 90% can become too wide, making the layout look stretched. To fix this, we typically add a max width of 600 pixels. This means the card will grow only up to 600 pixels and then stop expanding. Instead of writing two separate lines, we can achieve the same effect using a single line with min function. Inside min, we pass two or more values, and it picks the smallest one. Here we passed 90% and 600 pixels. So here, the card's width will be the smaller value between 90% of the parent container and 600 pixels. If 90% is less than 600 pixels, it uses that. If 90% is more, it caps the width at 600 pixels. Now let's check the card's width using inspect. On a large screen, the body width is 1,065 pixels, and the card's width is 600 pixels. That's the maximum value we set using the min function. On a smaller screen, the body width is 580 pixels, and the card's width becomes 469 pixels, which is 90% of the available space. This clearly shows how the card's width automatically adjusts based on the screen size. Now let's look at how the max function works. For example, if we replace max in our code, the card will use whichever value is bigger, either 90% of the container or 600 pixels. At first, the card's width stays at 600 pixels. Let's inspect this in the browser. On a large screen, the body is 1,065 pixels wide, and the card's width becomes 900 pixels. On a smaller screen, the body is 686 pixels, and the card stays at 600 pixels. This clearly shows how Max helps create flexible layouts by always choosing the largest value. And here's something even more powerful. You can pass three or more values into Max. For example, Max 400 pixels, 20%, 50 viewport height. This tells the browser to pick the largest value among 400 pixels, 20% of the container's width, and 50 viewport height, which is 50% of the viewport height. So if 50 vertical height is the largest at that moment, the card's width will be based on screen height. This makes your layout even more responsive and dynamic. CSS clamp function. Right now we're using clamp to set the font size for the card's heading. Earlier we used 2VW, which means 2% of the screen's width. This made the text responsive. It grows or shrinks with the viewport. But there's a problem. On very small screens, the text becomes too tiny. On large screens, it grows too big and breaks the layout. 
To fix the font size issue, we're now using the clamp function to make the card heading responsive. The clamp function takes three values, one, min, the smallest size on very small screens, two, preferred, a flexible size based on the screen width, three, max, the largest size on very large screens. In our case, we use minimum font size is 1.8 rem, preferred size is 4 VW, and maximum font size is 2.5 rem. This means the font size will change smoothly between 1.8 rem and 2.5 rem based on the screen width. On large screens, it won't grow bigger than 2.5 rem. On small screens, the text won't get smaller than 1.8 rem. Try resizing the browser. The font will scale using 4VW in between the MN and MAX limits. This is a modern way to create fluid typography without using multiple media queries. We can also use the clamp function for padding. For example, setting the body padding like clamp 1 rem, 5VW, 2 rem makes it responsive. This means the padding increases on large screens and decreases on small screens. It's an easy way to create flexible spacing without using media queries. CSS calc function. We're using the calc function to set the bottom margin of a paragraph. Initially, we used margin bottom, one rem, which stays the same on all screen sizes. To make it responsive, we use calc 10 viewport widths plus one rem. Here, 10 viewport widths adjusts with the screen width, and one rem adds a fixed base space. This makes the margin grow on larger screens while staying readable on smaller ones. The calc function lets you mix units like viewport width and rem and supports math operations like plus, minus, times, and divide. For example, using calc 10 viewport widths minus one, rem gives a different result. You can even nest one calc inside another if needed. It's a powerful way to create flexible and responsive spacing in your layout.